Here's Rob's 24-hour forecast. Well, some pretty heavy rainfall and the possibility of flash flooding could develop in the region, mainly towards southeast Texas in the days ahead. Right now, as we take a look at Power Doppler 3, all is quiet close to home. We open it on up, take a look at the big picture, and we have a severe thunderstorm watch to the north of us into Oklahoma, where severe weather is going to be developing later on tonight, and then even worse weather as you go farther north and east. But our main concern is with the possibility of flooding as we move forward. So here's the rainfall on the Euro model showing a solid three to five inch rainfall, maybe a little bit more. And uh oh, looks like uh, the flooding rainfall is uh, making a little bit of a mess here in the studio. But this is another way of using and utilizing augmented reality when we're going to have a big change in the weather pattern and perhaps the threat of flooding mainly across southeast Texas, but it could be western Louisiana as well down the line. So that's something that we'll be watching out for. In the near term, we're talking mid 70s overnight tonight, back into the mid to upper 80s tomorrow. And your 24 hour forecast is looking cloudy, breezy and warm once again tomorrow near record lows again tonight in the mid 70s, which will beat the record for tomorrow morning, which is 73 degrees and then getting back up to about 86 or 87 for a high slight chance of a shower or thunderstorm, but better rain chances just north of the I 10 corridor will delineate that and take a closer look at those rainfall totals not only from the euro but the GFS and tell you where we may think the flooding may occur coming up in just a little bit.